Let's take a look at replacing the coolant temp sensor on a six liter power stroke engine. Now we've already gone ahead and removed the air box here, we've removed the upper radiator hose and uh, the intercooler piping here just so you can really see what we're getting at. The sensor is mounted right down here next to the thermostat. So with this stuff out of the way, I can pinch the electrical connector here, disconnect it. Now because there's limited clearance here, it's kind of difficult to get a socket in there. So I'm gonna take a 21 millimeter wrench. I have to be careful not to let it slip here as we break this loose. And I'll continue working this around. Now we still might lose a little bit of coolant out of here, even though we have the upper radiator hose out. So you're going to want to have a catch pan underneath it. So we've removed our old sensor. I've got my new sensor here. I'm going to take just a little bit of an assembly lube just to lubricate the O-ring. We don't want it rolling over or pinching when we install it in here. So now I can take my sensor once I've got the, the lubrication on the O-ring here and I'll insert it back into the hole. Get a good and snug with my fingers here. I'll take my wrench, get it good and tight. Being careful again not to let my wrench slip off and snap the sensor off. Then I can take my electrical connector, line it up properly. We'll clip it, clip it into place and we always want to make sure it's locked in there good so it's not popping off there. Now we're going to reassemble, we're going to put the upper radiator hose back on, we'll put the intercooler piping back in, we'll put the, the air box back in place, make sure everything's good and sealed. We'll properly bleed and fill our cooling system, make sure that there's no air pockets in there, erase any trouble codes that may have been set in the PCM by the faulty sensor and we're all set to go. We've just replaced the engine coolant temp sensor and the six liter power stroke diesel.